This is Leo Claudia with Malice to it none. We're here at Winter Haven, Florida, the home base, the spring training base of the Boston Red Sox. And we have as our guests, in front of long standing, the general manager, executive vice president of the Boston Red Sox, Dick O'Connell. Welcome, Dick. Thank you very much, Leo. Nice to be with you. Dick, it's certainly nice having you here today, Dick, on this beautiful day with the Red Sox getting in shape for what promises to be a big season. What do you think is in store, Dick? I wish I knew. I sit around here listening. Everybody tell me we're going to do this and do that. I hope they're half right. <laughs> and if they're half right? We'll have a very poor season. <laughs> Dick, uh, do you think at this time, at this particular point of spring training, that the pitching uh, looks any different than it did last year? Leo, uh, on paper, our pitching is much better than it was last year. We have four fellows that practically did very little for us last year, the first part of the season, namely... Uh, Juan Moog and uh, Vincente Romo, Peters, and Siebert. Of course, Romo and Siebert did pretty well the last half, and Juan Berg did very little as a whole, and Peters is a good first-line pitcher. So we have four fellows that should help us. We didn't have it all previously. The remainder of your team, uh, Dick, the outfield and the infield, and, and then, of course, your catching is pretty well set, isn't it? I suppose it is. We have half a dozen catches here. I don't know who's going to be a final catcher. I know the manager, Mr. Casco, is leading towards Mr. Moses because of his youth and potential strength of the bat. And Jerry's only trouble in the past has been maturity, which each year you gain more as you stay around. So I don't know whom the final catchers will be at the moment, but I know Jerry will probably be one. Uh, Montgomery is a rookie who has been in the minor league system for a few years. What do you think of his chances are? Well, it, uh, I'm sticking. Well, I, I, that I don't know. Not that uh, you have options left, actually three options on Montgomery. Montgomery's a very good ball player last year in AAA baseball. It's a good command of the ball game. Carl a good ball game. He's got a pretty good bat, too. So he has very good potential. But a lot of these things will have to be determined by injuries, by how well people are doing, and by the rules of baseball, which I call the right to option. Dick, uh, so far, Lomborg uh, has looked good. His arm seems to be sound, and uh, he's not uh, worried about the injury which befell him uh, after that skiing accident. Well, the injury last year was uh, literally a split toe that bothered Lomborg, which very few people knew about, and uh, he had a hairline fracture on his left toe, and small toe, and he was not supposed to pitch for 10 or 15 days, but somehow or other, the Red Sox are on the road, and somebody had the unbright idea of taking him out to throw batting practice one morning in Detroit, which split the toe and made the hairline much larger than the hairline, which bothered Jim all last year. And I know he did not do too well, but the idea was to get him fired and keep him on that line. I think Jim's trouble is that he's been trying to do too much and try to atone for his previous thoughts when he was a pretty good pitcher in 67. And ski injury that you have, which I think has been out and made too much talk about. In other words, Lomberg is a pitch, not a skier, and that's the way they have to face it now. Dick, I want to thank you very much for this interview, and I want to wish you and the Boston Red Sox a pennant and another World Series championship. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Dick. This is an interview with Dick O'Connell, the general manager and executive vice president of the Boston Red Sox in Winter Haven, Florida. This brings us to the end of what matters to it and for today. Until tomorrow at the same time, Leo Claudia, good day.